Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. It's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. And we're getting ready for love day, y'all. I got me a Valentine's date. <laughs> now, let me stop playing. I've been married 10 years. It is date night, and I'm doing the cooking. I'm going to show you how to whip up some luxurious, creamy, delicious chicken alfredo. And with the crispification up top, because we're doing some chicken parmesan. This is going to go all the way up. And I got a surprise for you. So don't go nowhere. This is Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat, episode 23. Hey, what's going on, guys? Listen, I'm gonna tell you like Uncle Snoop say, baby, it's time to step your love game up. We cooking with gas now, baby. To this saucepan, we're gonna add the equivalent so one stick of butter. I'm gonna need a little bit more because we want this sauce, baby. It's got to be rich, it's got to be creamy, it's got to be right for the one you loving on tonight. <laughs> so we add that to the saucepan and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Don't let that melt down and do its job and do 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 everything it's supposed to do, baby. You gotta get this right for your king or queen. But while the butter and the oil come together, this is what we're gonna do. Let's press us up some garlic. To this garlic press, I added me about two medium-sized cloves of garlic, peel and all. You don't want this garlic to burn, so make sure you got your fire not too hot. And you definitely want to go with fresh garlic, because it's always going to make it a whole lot better, 30 times, 1,000 times better than uh, that other stuff they use, man. So that's about a teaspoon of garlic. So you, once that garlic come in there and get real happy, this is what we want to do. I got garlic powder. Let's whisk in about a tablespoon of garlic powder. We're building us a roux for our creamy Alfredo sauce. This is what we're making our cream meat. It's got to be creamy. It's got to be rich. It's got to be right, y'all. It's the wrong time to mess it up, especially if you're trying to impress the right person tonight, you know? To our sauce, we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of flour, all-purpose flour, AP flour. You want to cook that flour taste out. So let this go for another two minutes. Don't worry about adding any salt and pepper in I'm not going to add any black pepper anyway because we don't want the specs and our luxurious sauce tonight, baby. This is all about uh, stepping our love game up like Uncle Snoop told us. Two minutes gone by, this is what you wanna do. You wanna add in a, about two tablespoons of milk. And right to that, add our heavy cream. The good stuff, grass-fed heavy whipping cream. So while it's still on low, as that reduces, it's gonna start to thicken up and get real creamy and delicious, baby. And you see the color of that. You see that color, it's, it's like an off-white. This is, a, we gonna call it a pearl white tonight, baby. <laughs> While that sauce finish reducing, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken breast ready. What we're gonna do is trim them up and make them look real pretty right quick. Just square it off the, the fat stuff we don't need, cause I told you this is real sexy tonight, baby. We don't want nothing out of place, nothing out of pocket tonight, not tonight. And we, you know, as jam pack cookers, we ain't messing up no night, but tonight is real special because we stepping our love game up, baby. So that's what we need to do on this chicken breast. Let me show you a real quick trick. So this one's got a little bit, a little bit more of thickness to it. We're gonna split it, all right? Take your palm, sit it right down on that chicken breast, get your sharp knife, and you just glide. You glide for the ride all the way across. And keep pressure on that, keep your knife tilted up. Boom. So now what you got? Two pieces of this chicken breast, all right? Take your little olive oil, because we need it just a little bit more thinner. This is for the chicken palm, all right? We're gonna get the chicken palm seasoned up and out the way right quick. So rub that in there, get you some gloves on. If you wanna go burn hands, that's up to you. Make sure you wash your hands when you're dealing with the chicken, baby. We're gonna pound it out just so we can have the right size on each one, all right? So let the meat mallet do the work. You just drop the mallet. This is a nice tool to have in your station, baby. Maybe a half inch thick now. All the way across the board, though. This one we not gonna split because we doing chicken two ways. Cause that's how she like it, baby. Chicken two ways, all right? For this, for this luxurious chicken alfredo that we doing. We gonna have this one here that we split and made about a half an inch thick. That's gonna be for our chicken palm. We gonna slice it up real nice at the end. And the same goes here, but this is gonna be a pan seared garlic season, richness, a little bit of crispification. This is gonna be crispified to the max. Let's get into it, right out the gate. Cause we stepping our love game up, there's no other choice. The magic dust, simple as that. Hit everybody with the magic dust. You don't gotta go heavy because it's not a, 
stick cut of me. If you ain't got the magic dust, head over to BigSmokesBBQ.com for your magic dust. After your magic dust, you want to go SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. Right on top of your magic dust, all right? I'm giving you the key. If you're balling on a budget, whatever the case may be, you're trying to kick back, you want to save some, because you got bigger plans and better dreams, you know? This is the way to go, baby. Cook at home, set the table up real nice. Step your love game up, like Uncle Snoop said. Now that the chicken is sliced up and marinated, let's set it to the side so we can attend to the sauce. That sauce is reduced, it's real nice. So what we want to do to this sauce, I mean, it's, look at this. This is beautiful, man. We got to take it up a notch. Tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. We got to take it all the way up a notch tonight because it's love day. So what we have here is Parmesan cheese, baby, and we're going to fresh grate it. We need about a tablespoon or two. Give it a mix. Dripping the night, baby. The cheese sauce is ready. Perfecto. Make sure you tasting your food tonight, baby, because I told you, we can mess up. We can make mistakes. Jump back cookers, but let's not do it tonight. It's the wrong night, baby. We stepping our love game up, fellas. Come on now. Four or five cups of uh, just plain old water, tap water to this, to this pot. You see it, baby. You got to add the salt. She don't want no plain, unseasoned pasta. This is a little trick of mine, Jam Pack Cookers. Get you about maybe a tablespoon or two of butter, baby. A pound and a half of pasta. That's enough to feed three or four people. And make sure you're moving that pasta around because you don't want it to stick. Just go by the directions on whatever you get your pasta from. If you got the dry pasta from this bag, that bag, this is what you do. Look on the back of the bag, it's going to tell you directly how to cook that pasta. All right, let's get our chicken rolling. And I know how she like it. She wants this chicken two ways. Tablespoon of olive oil down. We're going to lay that down. Make sure every piece of this chicken got contact on its skin, all right? For the next two or three minutes, forget about it. <laughs> let it be. Let it do its thing. And it's going to be GBD golden brown and delicious on the back side, all right? We're going to flip it over for another two or three minutes. And then we're going to put that baby to rest. All right, good people. So while we wait, we're going to bread up our chicken parm. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs is Italian breadcrumbs. We're going to extra mile tonight. And to this breadcrumb, what's going to make this chicken palm? We're going again with about another tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese, baby. Very important step to get that cheese in with these breadcrumbs mixed. Let's check our chicken real quick and see what we got. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Look at that. We want to retain that juice. It's easy to overcook this white meat. Don't do it. Not tonight. You hear me? She don't want that. Two minutes on the other side, we're going to pull it off and let it rest. And that's gonna be the done deal on done dot on that one. We approaching love day. It's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money Man. I'm doing this for all my fellas out there that's hollering. They ain't they on a budget, you know, so they don't want no excuse. The crispification, I guarantee you it's gonna be juicy on the inside. It's already, it's already dripping the sauce. So pull that off, and that's all you need on a pan strip. We're gonna slice that, we're gonna let it rest, and let everything come back up the temp. Let's whisk up two of these eggs in our love bowl. We gonna call this the love bowl jam pack cookies. We dip that in on the flour first, then we gonna get it in our egg mixture. Get it in the egg, the love bowl. Just throw them, throw them, throw them breadcrumbs right up top. Give it a press. Italian breadcrumbs with the Parmesan cheese mixed in there. Easy, baby. Easy money. We not messing up tonight. Not tonight. Pasta ready to go. Let me get this pasta out of here. I'm gonna drain that pasta out just like that. Cold water ranch. Stop it from cooking. That chicken is done. Just like that with the crispification. You want to come out with that chicken just like that with the crispification. Golden brown and delicious, baby. Get those to the side. We're going to let that rest. I did a reverse sear on this ribeye. She like a steak medium well. So I bought it up to about 135. This, yeah, I know it ain't too pretty right now, but it ain't supposed to be. We doing a reverse sear. Bought it up to temperature, and now we're going to put a hard sear on the outside. Make sure you got your cast iron hot, baby. Two minutes. Oh yeah, that's what we looking for, Jam Pack Cooker. Don't let it fall apart. I know it's, you want to get it down on the other side. Stand it up and just get the edge with that fat and just start melting down with the crispification. We got her looking all pretty. What we want to do now is we want to get the, 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 the flavor, the aroma of some good garlic butter going in. Cloves, we got about three cloves of garlic. We'll give them a smash just like that. Let it do its thing. Basing this steak with that, man. It's what you want to base that steak with. We're going to put the steak to the side and let it rest with the chicken. All that juice, baby. We don't need nothing that's, that's, that's dry. You hear the crispification on that, man? Do you hear this? She's going to be a happy camper tonight. That's the juicy crispification on the outside. 
tender. Crispification on the outside because we put that sear on there. Extra fat don't hurt nobody. I'm gonna cut a few slices off this tender, juicy, moist steak right here. Steak is perfect. Alfredo sauce, the creamy, luxurious. <laughs> Take some Alfredo teeny noodles. Down in there on the spiral. Don't be stingy with the sauce. Creamy Alfredo sauce. Hit it one more time. Just to make sure it's getting down in those crevices. Real chicken first. You wanna hit it with the crispification. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I'm in love. Don't drown this. Drizzle it. Drizzle, baby. Flat leaf parsley. Give it a rough chop. You have to make it rain. Get that Parmesan, no freshly grated Parmesan up top. Parsley, baby. Jam pack cookers. <laughs> if they love you and you give them this, there's no wrong can be done, baby. No wrong can be done. Mr. Money shows you how to do this thing on a budget. You ain't got to break the bank to prove your love. I hope not anyway. <laughs> Let's hope so. Before we get into this, we're going to pour up some bubbly. And before we get salty, we always got to have some sweet. These things cost maybe five, you know, and it's not too much. It's not out your reach. I hope not. But if it is, God bless Thank you. Keep grinding. It's coming. You hear me? To love. Love is a condition. Chocolate so covered berries. It may be <laughs> that which holds the stars in the It may be that which mm. Jam back cook. and urges. This is from me to you. We love you for watching. We appreciate you for watching. This is my baby, my wife's favorite meal. Find out what your love like, or you know I already. But if not, I believe this will work. I believe this will work. You're not breaking the bank. It's pasta, it's steak, it's chicken, the chocolate covered berries that's not breaking the bank. This is balling on the budget and love at its finest because love conquer all, baby. It's me, John Pat Cooking, Mr. Money, Chef Ray. I appreciate you for watching. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that you love them for God is love. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Because we always showing love over here at Jam Pack Cooking. Peace and love and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's Mr. Money, man. You know with me, you saw the nothing. And you ain't gotta say you love. I can tell by the way.